So today is my first day back to uh, to work. It's crazy to think that, because it's been almost two weeks that I've been off, and it's so weird to think that the last time I went to work, there was <clears throat> like snow, like all the grass was covered in snow. My whole street, the whole sidewalk was all pure ice, and now it's beautiful and sunny and gorgeous out. So, um, I guess it's not the end of the world that I'm going back to work because the weather is so nice. But obviously, I would much rather spend it like outside, hanging out on patios or shopping or whatever. But anyways, <clears throat> almost running late. But I think because there's no snow and no ice, my walks can be a lot shorter, so I should be okay. Hopefully, I get off work early. So there's the police have set up camp over here by the rink by my house, and I guess that's their like home base or whatever for figuring out the whole whatever it is that oh, happened shit. there's like probably about 15 cops that are hanging out there i saw them there this morning i walked by when i was going to work when i left work this morning there was five or six cops all walking in a group together all like in front of the building looking in the bushes and stuff so i guess they're just looking for clues or something i don't know there's still someone posted right outside the door to my stairwell because I made the awkward eye contact. Because <laughs> when I got home yesterday, I walked uh, just right past my door because the door to the stairwell is right there. So I walked because there's a little bit of a window. And so I walked over there to look in to see, hoping that the hallway was empty. And then that would tell me that's not where it happened. But there's a cop on post right there and I could see like cases and like, you know, stuff. So that's where it happened, right outside my door. Always, I'm always smoking cigars. <laughs> I'm not sure what's just not sure what's happening over there. Like she's not doing deep enough squats to get any work done. Well, and especially if you're just doing squats while you're waiting for a light to change, you can cross the street. I don't know what that's gonna do for you. Well, good job. I mean, you're come on, do a couple more. There you go. Hell? Oh, just the one. Yeah. <laughs> that's so weird. Look, and she's like, that guy's riding a bike. What a weirdo. <laughs> so, anyways, I got an interesting email today. <laughs> not from, not about you, but um, April, mm -hmm. who owns this place, is thinking about selling it. Which means we would have to move or buy it. It could be months before it even happens, but she's coming on Monday, maybe, with a realtor to take a look at the place. That's ridiculous. What makes me mad is the fact that when I rented this place, they wanted me to promise that it would be like a long-term a long -term rental. And so I promised them like four years, basically the time that Jillian was in high school. And I said after that, I just don't know what'll happen. So I can't promise anything more than that. And only in August or July or whatever will it even be three years that we've been here. So another four months. Remind her of that. Tell another her. four months before it's even been three years that we're here. I'm wondering if she wants to sell because of what just happened. And what happened on Saturday on the street and the stabbing. Is this not going to be bought if she sells now? Well, that's what I'm thinking. Maybe she feels like get out now. Maybe this neighborhood is going down or something. I don't know. So she said if she decides to sell, I think she's you, just gonna come with a realtor. I, I think she's just I think she's just gonna come with a realtor just to see like how much she could possibly put it up for and see if it's worth it. Yeah, the kitchen I, alone, considering it's really old and like green countertops, she's not gonna be able to sell this place for a huge profit, I'm sure. But I think she should I think what we should do is just remind her, be like, you know or you remind her, you when the realtor here be like, you know, we said four years. Just be like, just wait a year and then do whatever well, you Well, yes, want. but I was already maybe going to break that if Brittany moves in. Yeah. Couldn't live here for another year with almost, three people. Yeah, but it'll be almost four years. Well, still. not really. Anyway, so that's my news for today. So I already looked. I was looking at some three bedrooms that are in the building. And they're not that much more expensive. Like, really a couple hundred bucks more than what I'm paying right now. And it's a three bedroom with, like, one and a half baths. So... There's one in our building, in our building, that's up for um, like 1400 I think. And then there's one in the identical building right next door that's gone, that's up for like 313 20 something. So 
I don't know. If Brittany's moving in, I can look at three bedrooms. The door is this way. Ah, whatever. This way. No, it's so, this, this angers me because I hate moving. I hate the process of having to put things in a box, move that box, take things out, and... Okay, but you already knew that we might have to move if Brittany moved in. Yeah, but that was for, like, a legit reason. This is not, this is not a good enough reason for Okay, me but move. moving is moving. Brittany is moving in regardless, is she not? Uh, if she gets accepted, yeah, she'll, she will. Hmm. Anyways, so just to keep on top of things for myself, I'm going to start looking around, seeing what's out there, and uh, be prepared. Because if she's thinking about selling now and then turns around and says no, it means it's on her mind. So I don't, so I feel like maybe I should get out of here first before she's like, you have two months and then you need to go because I've sold the place or whatever. So that's my news for today. I have a 93 in art. Awesome. Well, other than Jillian and I doing laundry, yet again, because that seems to be all I ever do anymore is fold clothes, uh, I think I'm just going to chill out, watch some TV, and go to bed early. I was in bed late last night, like, later than I would have liked to have gone to bed, considering today was my first day back to work, which I got off early of. Hoping to get off early tomorrow as well, because if I do, I might head downtown with Kim. I might go get my nose pierced. Just a little, little, tiny, tiny little stud. Maybe. I haven't fully 100% decided yet. Kim has decided for me that apparently I'm just doing it. I have not decided yet. But uh, anyways, that's it for tonight. So, good night.